Baby, Your Baby is sponsored by Intermountain Health and the Utah Department of Health and Human Services. Nearly 40 children die in the United States every year after being left in a hot vehicle. Seven deaths have already been reported this year. The biggest fallacy is when parents say, this would never happen to me. Admitting that it could happen to you and taking the precautions is the first step. These tragedies can happen to anyone. Stress, tiredness, or change of routine can push a person's brain into autopilot, making it easier to forget. It's that change of routine. It's those parents who are tired, who have gotten little sleep, or who are stressed. And I think you'd be hard-pressed to find any young parent who didn't fit into one of those categories at some point. It's not only when kids are left in the car, but also if they find keys and try getting into a car by themselves. Three out of these 10 hot car deaths happen because kids have access to cars. So it's not just parents leaving their kids in cars, it's kids getting in the car and not being able to get themselves back out. Try keeping a visual reminder so when you reach for the item, you'll remember the child. Leaving something in the back seat with your child. So cell phone, a briefcase, a purse, your left shoe, putting something in that when you get to your destination, you're gonna need so that you'll remember to look in that back seat. If you see young kids left in a vehicle by themselves, don't hesitate to call 911 as heat can reach dangerous levels within minutes. Within 10 minutes, that temperature can rise and kids' body temperature heats up three to five times faster than ours and cracking the window does very little to change that internal temperature in the vehicle. I'm Mary Nichols for Baby Your Baby.